Hi friends, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make auto volt AC to DC adjustable voltage regulator without using any transformer. All you need is some basic electronic components like a 2 ampere bridge rectifier, 1 UF polyester capacitor, few resistors and diodes, LM317 regulator, 2 electrolyte capacitors, a 3 mm indicator LED. 5 kilo ohms potentiometer and few terminal connectors for easy assembly i first drafted the simple circuit diagram in cad and then i converted the schematics into the pcb layout and the pcb is going to be look like this you can download both circuit diagram and pcb files link is in video description in order to manufacture this pcb go to the video description and with this link sign up on jlcpcb website on the homepage of JLCPCB website, here you can add the Gerber file I provided. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. You can also change quantity in the color of PCBs as per your requirements. And then save to cart for checkout. Within some days I got my order from JLCPCB delivered. And the quality of the PCBs is amazing, and 5 pieces is for just $2. And now it is time to assemble the PCB. So, let's place all the components on the PCB according to the circuit diagram. And after spending some time with the soldering process, I cleaned the PCB with isopropyl alcohol. And here our PCB is looking nice and clean. Grab a little heatsink for efficient operation. Use thermal paste for better heat dissipation. Using the screw, secure the heatsink on the regulator IC. Now our circuit is fully ready. Use alligator clip wires. Connect in the output DC connector. Use this type AC plug. Connect in the input AC connector. I also 3D printed the potentiometer knob for easy voltage adjustments. Now let's connect the circuit in 220 volt AC outlet. I will use multimeter to track the output DC voltage. Output DC can be touched without any shock, but still precautions must be taken. You can adjust the potentiometer clockwise to adjust the voltage maximum to 30 volts. And voltage can be decreased to minimum 1 volt. For testing, let's adjust the voltage at 12 volts. I will use this 12 volt LED strips for testing. As you can see it will work perfectly. You can adjust potentiometer to increase and decrease the brightness. Now let's adjust the voltage at 4 volts. Let's use this 4 volts LED strip. As you can see, it works perfectly without any flickering problems. 
To make the output auto volt for LED and diode testing, you can use 1 to 10 kilo ohms 1 watt resistor. Simply get the positive wire out from the connector and install resistor instead. Use heat shrink tube and solder the wire with resistor. With heat gun or lighter, shrunken the tube. Now let's plug the circuit in AC outlet. Connect the multimeter on output. Increase the voltage fully to 30 volts. Now you can test these small LEDs without fusing. This circuit will auto adjust the voltage and will also show the forward voltage of each LED. You can also test SMD LED strip of any voltage or any type LED bulbs to find the faulty one so that it can be replaced easily. So, if you enjoyed the video give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.